everyone. Today I'm going to do a quick at home tricep workout video for you. Um, some of it's going to be body weight, some of it I am going to use a set of dumbbells for. And if you don't have dumbbells at home, um, you can also use any canned food that you have. Um, just increase the number of reps. Um, so I usually work in sets from 8 to 10, but I'm usually also using heavier weights. Um, so if you're using cans, I would say go in a 15 to 20 rep range, depending on your level. Otherwise, if a 10 to 15 works better, just find what feels good to you and do that. Okay, so our first exercise, I'm gonna do some dips. I'm gonna use a stool here for my dips. You can use a chair, your couch. If you have an outdoor bench, you can also use that. Um, and so I like to have my knees bent for this. You can also have your legs out in front of you, however you wanna do it. Um, sometimes I mix it up. Um, you want to make sure your shoulders are down. They're not up at your ears. And you want to dip down. You don't want to go too far so that you put too much stress on your shoulder joints. You want to go down far enough so that you push back up and really get some good tricep extensions. And so usually with dips, I'll do anywhere from 15 to 20 reps with these since these are just body weight. And then the next exercise is going to be a tricep push-up. So if traditional push-ups are hard for you, um, try, this one might be harder. <laughs> um, the tricep push-up, your hands are closer together because it just gets more tricep activation than the traditional push-up, which is more chest and shoulders. Um, so for this, you can do regular, regular straight and go down. Or you can also come on your knees and do it that way, if that's easier. Um, for push-ups, again, depending on your skill level, depending on um, your strength level, you can do anywhere from 10 to 20. So just play around with it and see what feels good for you. Um, so now the next exercise is something that I'm going to use my dumbbells for. Um, so I have, my husband found these lovely 15-pound dumbbells for me. Um, I'm gonna do some tricep kickbacks. So with my kickbacks, I stand slightly bent over and you can do double arms. Just make sure not to swing. You don't wanna swing, you wanna keep your elbows nice and tight, core tight, core is always tight, core is always engaged. You can do one arm at a time. And if you have cans, same thing, same thing. Now if standing is too difficult, if it puts too much strain on you, you have a hard time with your core, grab a stool and do it on a stool you know, you can sit down and give yourself more stability. You can also use your stool or couch to do some single arm this way, where you have a little bit more stability, you can have your knee on, or just at least have your hand on, stagger your stance, and do it this way too. This just helps give you a little bit more stability if you're having a little bit of trouble the other way. And now, the other tricep exercise is gonna be an overhead press. This is also a really great one. So if you have a dumbbell, and have you hold it like this, both hands, and just press straight on up. So it's just your forearms that are moving. Again, core is nice and tight. If you have cans, I would say just do one arm at a time if you're doing it with cans. Um, and again, for that, do anywhere from a 10 to 15, 15 to 20 range, see what feels good, and give it a few, a few sets and see how it works. Um, so those are four really great at-home tricep exercises to do. I hope you guys try it, I hope you like it, and come back tomorrow for more, thanks.